Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? It's your homeboy sitting on four. Um, just sitting here relaxing a little bit, waiting on my lunch. I swept the floor a little bit and everything, kind of like, you know, clean the house a little bit, some. And, um, probably after I eat, I'll do the dishes. And then, as you can hear in the background, the loud noise. Um, I have my worship going right now as I speak. I'm kind of trying to get some things caught up a little bit around the house. Um, it's always good to feel good to always get things done. Um, always, even you know, even if you lose someone in the family um, that you really care about, you know, you really love, and you know, it's always good to stay busy. Um, does that you know bring them back? No, it don't. But the best medicine to get over the hurtness and you know get over the uh, the loss is to keep your mind busy um, with reading. Um, keep your mind busy, you know, by working out, training, whatever you want to call it. Um, always to keep your mind busy. Hang around with good people, you know, especially at your job, you know, to lift you up, you know, the whole entire time. And, and that's another plus. Uh, when, you know, I was kind of shocked on the company I work for, work for. Um, on what they did and you know you know I you know I was actually kind of amazed on how how they approached it with me and everything and I just let I, I just let them know my progress I let them know my uh, thoughts um, I let them know what I'm thinking right now sometimes and because they come up to me and every day they will ask me how am I doing you know how am I holding up I said just hang in there one day at a time that's the one thing I can do but it, it's just not going to bring me back it's just going to be different but Remembering the good times that I had with them, you know, especially, you know, building, building on this trailer, you know, this is, this is the one, one thing I'll never forget, you know, me and them working together as a team, you know, we set all of our sides of difference on, on each other and we worked as a team and he taught me some things that and uh, I didn't even know on how to do and now I kind of know somewhat on how to do it because I watched a man do it himself and he was the man of all jack of trades and my grandpa was and one thing I do remember him telling me was you know you must live a life to the fullest um, live life to the fullest and show people respect. Because if you show people respect and you earn your respect from them, they will be by your side. And looking back, looking back right now, On what he meant by that, of uh, well, everybody that I know, um, I only know a few people that's always been there, uh, really been there for me. It's mostly my two of my closest buddies that I went to school, and they've been there pretty much ever since, and for me, ever since I was little, and I've been like. I have another friend, you know, he, he's a friend of mine, but, like, we do talk, 
but it's just um he has his own thing going on and everything else so you know I don't really get to hang out with him that much but we still keep in touch with each other and it's just the fact that a lot of a lot of people has been kind of like reaching out to me, you know, helping me out, you know, try to figure out things in life, you know, where I where I need to be at, and you know, to try to put me on the right track. And so going down, because they know about my past, they know they know about the dark road I was on, and. I pretty much, I know I'm not going down that dark road, but I know I have a choice, you know, to better myself, to always try to do what is right, you know, my grandpa, that's one thing that he's taught me, you know, is always try to do what is right, always try to be honest, uh, give your opinion if you feel like you need to give, give it. Don't be afraid uh, to give your opinion and your thought of opinion and everything else. Uh, but the thing is, you know, sometimes that's harder than it looks when it when it comes to giving your opinion on, on things. I'm gonna do it in a video. That's that's not a problem. Give my opinion, give my advice, and you know, I'm gonna do it in a video. And stuff and you know help people out in that way but I can also do it in person but if there's a whole group of people in one little room and they uh, and if you know they say oh you need to do this and this and this and then people don't really agree on it and but nobody will speak up. You know, sometimes, you know, I might have the courage to speak up for the people. But if I don't think it's right. But when that's part of the reason why I don't get where I'm at with my job is because there are sometimes I don't agree on things. There are times where, you know, you know, you know, I kind of just, you know, I fight, I fight back on, on certain things. And they want you to keep your mouth shut, you know, don't say anything, don't worry back, you know, like it's a no no. And, yeah, I don't do it. I don't abide by the rules. And,. And they know that about me. And I just tell them, I say, you know, I'm a fighter. I said, I'm a, mar I'm a martial artist, but I am humble at the same time. And, I, and the thing of it is, is that, you know, if I, and if I see something right through the bull crap and the lies, yeah, I'm going to confront it. I'm going to confront it head on. And if they say they, they would say things like, just being around the bush, just being honest. And it's just like, that's what I don't want. It's people that beat around the bush and not being honest. Um, even though... Even though most people don't know really how to be honest anymore, and so they were to just cover up, cover up a lie, cover it up with another lie, and cover it up with another lie. To me, it's always best to be honest and look at the person in the eye and just tell them. The truth. 
Because truth comes a long way. Yeah, you may get in trouble for being honest. But when it comes to shove, your troubles won't be as harsh. You know, five minutes later they find out that you lied. And then they'll disrespect you because you decide to lie. I want to see it comes a long way. Even in my job, in, in, even if, you know, there were times, you know, I, you know, I thought about lying, but there were times, you know, I thought, you know, back in my head, you know, was telling me, you know, man, just lie, just lie, just get out of trouble. And, but, my heart was telling me to be more honest. So, I listen to my heart more than anything, and listening to your heart is the best choice you can make on something. Even though I'm not happy with the job where I'm at, but it pays the bills, it's close to where I live at. I'm not driving like four or five miles out of the way to go somewhere and work, not making hardly any money. And even though it's eleven ninety five an hour job that I have, which you know anywhere else is charging like twenty two to fifteen dollars an hour, I wish, you know, my job would you know, pay their employees good instead of making them pay eleven ninety five an hour. Now, if you're on the line, you know, making peace work, yeah, you make more money. But if you just do what I do as an inspector, um, you get paid minimum wage. And I guess I always get paid minimum wage. But eventually, I may actually... You know, eventually down the road, I may talk to them about, you know, hey, you know, why don't, why don't inspectors get the same amount as everybody else? You know, that way it'll be equal, you know, on payment. So, you know, inspect, you know, I think inspectors should get paid like fifteen dollars an hour because they get to put up with all the bull crap with all the people on the lines, you know, and everything else. But that'll be later on down the road. But the thing with this back to my original story is that, you know, even if you're going through even even if you're going through a time of loss, a time of hurt, um, it's always so it's good, you know, to stay busy, you know, do things, do things like read books, um, listen to music, um, listen to your favorite songs, or, um, to me, music helps me, helps me out with anything. If I'm down, or I listen to music. Or, I mean, I'll listen to rap. I'll listen to old school rap. Now, or not down, but if I, if I, you know, if I'm mad, I listen to old school rap. I listen to the 90s rap. Um, back in the 90s. But when it comes to, like, being down, really down, hardcore, um, I listen to country. Um, country, had country music, you know, it has me behind it more than, more than rap. Um, which rap has me behind it too, but rap is just an expression. So, when you look at it this way, and if you, you know, and especially with rock, rock is, rock music is, Another way of, you know, getting through, you know, I listen to rock, rap, and country. 
So, those are my three choices of music that gets me through of everything on, on my mind. And most people don't really see that. And without music today, and you know, without um, feeling a connection with the song, um, like the day of the the day of the funeral, I I listened to uh, Toby no uh, no uh, Keith Urban Keith Urban song I want to cry and right there. You know, after after the funeral, I understood on what that song song meant, and I understand understand the song "Drinking Beer" by Luke Bryan, and I understand on what that song that meant, but. It got me through the hurt, and which, if you, you know, to me, it's always good to do some, to listen to some, or to read, talk, you know, visit with your friends, family, you know, keep in touch, you know, even through the hard times. Um, that's what gets you better, and that's what gets you more prepared for the future and everything else. But like I said, just, you know, be honest, be humble, be kind, show respect. You know, that's what my grandpa did when he was young. You know, he showed respect to everybody. And that's the thing. And, you know, that's what he was trying to teach me. And throughout my life, just always show respect no matter what. And, you know, if you show respect, to be honest. And people do want to be around you more. And that's all I'm saying. Seven down four. Signing up. Please hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And like I said, share my content. Um, share it to your friends. Share it to your family. And more you share, share my videos, the more I make the videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.